your unconscious mind is actually the key to your manifesting power. And that's because whatever your unconscious believes is safe uh, and it can survive, it will allow you to have. And if it doesn't believe it's safe to have it, it won't allow you to have it. See, the unconscious is so crucial. One of the most important things you can do is to establish and maintain rapport with your unconscious. See, your unconscious is the part of you keeping you alive. It is an automated processing system. However you learn to do something, just gets repeated. It learns. It's a learning machine. See, if you learn to brush your teeth with your right hand, if you have a, an injury to your right hand and you have to brush your teeth with the other hand, it's very different. It feels weird. You know, it, most people around the world think that I have an accent. Even where I'm from, New Zealand, they say you have an accent. I know it's crazy, but 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 I still have an accent. And that accent is because my unconscious learnt how it is, how to speak. See, unconscious is trainable. And so it's the key. It's not set in stone. It always wants to learn and understand, is this going to be survivable? If it's survivable, it's quite happy. It will allow you to have it if it won't lose safety or belonging. So the unconscious is the part of your consciousness that's in operation below the normal self-conscious waking state of awareness. The mechanism of the, the, the unconscious is, is very powerful very powerful in fact it's quite fantastic you have super conscious insight you have self-conscious direction but the unconscious is the part that allows you to have it the unconscious maintains a clear picture of every event in your life many studies have been conducted that demonstrate that the unconscious retains a wealth of information and it possesses this right now on recall you can remember traumatic events in your life better than you can remember things happened last week your unconscious wants to know what's important for my survival. You see, the unconscious works deductively. It pulls information down and deduces information. So it gets all of this information. It needs to sift what is important, what is actually necessary for my safety and belonging. The more uh, that your safety or belonging is, uh, is threatened, the more its survival is threatened. And so that's going to be remembered. In fact, many of us can remember, you know, September 11, 2001. We can, we can remember that because it shook us, you know, and our unconscious. We can remember great memories. We can remember terrible memories better than what we can remember last week. See, your unconscious, it, it deduces what's important. And it really has a hard time knowing what's the difference between something made up and something real. And this is why when you're at a you know at a movie in a cinema and and you know something scary jumps out on the screen, even though you know you're in the cinema, you still jump. That's because your unconscious is just taking it all in. Now, what also is interesting about the unconscious is it attracts in life what it concludes to be true. So what it concludes to be true and how it is, it will attract. The unconscious always wants to have a model of the world that it understands. It knows that it can survive it. So whatever it assumes, it's going to attract and create in life. And the conclusion uh, reached by the unconscious is that if I can just create it the way it's always been, I know I won't die right? This is the most important thing to get is the unconscious doesn't want a good life. It just wants the longest life possible. So the unconscious, it responds to your self-conscious direction. In fact, you're in a continual process of giving the unconscious direction. And, and, and what I mean by that is your unconscious takes all your input as direction, but it's important to give the unconscious clear suggestions. An often asked question I get all the time is if the unconscious tends to manifest what it concludes, and if, I, if I'm telling it what I want, then why don't I have what I want? I love money, money loves me, I love money. And the answer is we contradict ourselves. You see, the only reason you're, you're, you're doing a mantra of I love money is because there's a part of you that, that doesn't love money, right? I've never walked into a billionaire's house and seen on their fridge uh, a bunch of magnets saying, um, you know, money flows to me with ease and abundance because it, it's already happening. And so most of our con contradictions in life are in two categories, right? Uh, one is a concern with failure and other is a consideration of process rather than results. Okay, so contradictions are concern with failure or a consideration of process rather than results. When you want a result, okay, what you want, and then you consider the how. If you consider all the problems involved with getting the result, the unconscious concludes that yes, you want the result, but there are problems in getting it. So that's its conclusion. That's how it is. Then the problems in getting what you want also become part of the creation. 
Many people do this. It is important to give the unconscious clear, strong suggestions and then get out the way. Take the obvious action, get out of the way. Considerations of process may also limit a way in which the goal can actually come into reality. People are often, often amazed at the unusual ways in which results come into their reality when they don't limit the possibilities, right? Right, this doesn't mean that all your goals just manifest in unusual ways, but it, but it means that if you just give a clear suggestion to your unconscious, then it can be created more effectively and more easily. So important key in tapping the vast and great power of the unconscious is the technique of focusing on the what, not the how, on the result, not the process. Because the unconscious always says yes, right? So imagine a, um, you know, a fi fictional person and this person decides they want a car. The unconscious goes, yes, we want a car. Then this person considers how to get the car, begins to consider how to finance the car. And his unconscious says, yes, you'll need to finance it. And, and then you think, oh, God, it's so hard to finance cars. Interest rates are going up, which becomes a contradictory suggestion to having the car. But the unconscious says, yes. Then, he looks, then the, this person looks around. They notice, you know, cars are overpriced and says, yeah, they're bloody expensive. And the unconscious says, yes, they are. And then there's taxes and insurance and other costs and et cetera. And the unconscious just goes, yeah, okay, yeah. And don't forget about the cost of gas, right? And so the unconscious is just saying yes. So the unconscious got all these suggestions. Rather than just I want I want a car that I love, you know I've got a, I want a car, but I've got to finance. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And so the unconscious pulls all of this in, and that's that's how it is. And so the unconscious deduces that yes, this person wants this car, but also all these other things are going to be hard. The overemphasis on the how limits limits your creative process massively. A more effective approach you really want to teach your unconscious is to stay focused on the end result. You know, follow the five steps. Stay focused on the end result, just what you want. As you go into it, really give that suggestion. Then ask yourself, what's the obvious action I need to take? Right? And in that, that process, that the person, they, they, they focus on the car, and then you go find the car. Right? That's the obvious thing they need to do. So yeah, I'm going to go get the car. Then they get the car. Wow, this is, this is the car I want. Awesome. So right now, now I need to buy the car. So now buy it, you know, rather than trying to do it all at once and give all of these suggestions. And this is very important. Your unconscious is the powerful allower. See, your self-conscious directs what you want to create. Your superconscious is going to cook up ways to uh, invent ways, download ways to get it. But your unconscious is going to allow you to have it. And so one of the most important things you, you got to do, one of the most effective ways of teaching the unconscious is to have desired realities that you want to create and every day step in, experience them being true, teach your unconscious that's what you have without the process of how you'll get there. It's magic.